Hey guys, for this trek into DIY tech, I'm gonna show you something that um, I haven't messed around with in a while. It's a um, pixie cam. Um, so uh, I'm doing some work for work. <laughs> uh, I have a project at work <laughs> that's gonna involve some. Uh, it's gonna involve some machine, some machine vision. Uh, now it's gonna be a a massively more sophisticated system um camera wise and and coding wise but it did remind me about um the pixie cam which was something that i i found when i was trying to find a a way of um bringing machine vision or teaching ma machine vision back in the day when um when i was teaching at the makerspace still and uh yeah it was it was something that uh are we going to be able to teach open CV in, in an hour or two hours? Um, which, which was the format that, that we had the classes in before. And uh, I was like, I was like, no, no. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of uh, channels out there that say, Hey, give me five minutes and I'll teach you open CV. Okay, cool. Um, uh, but we weren't going to do it in an hour or two hours. So, so yeah. So during my research, I found a, uh, the pixie cam. And if you guys haven't seen this yet, or you've probably, you may have seen it already. Uh, this is, uh, it does the processing on board. And this one, uh, this one is slightly, uh, it's, it's, it's got a, a different camera on it than the one that I've used before. I've used the one that has the, the the white square on there and it, and it has a, a tiny little camera this one has a lens on there and uh looks like one that you can you can change the lens out i don't know we're gonna we're gonna check it out um this is the first time i'm touching this in in years i think so um it's gonna be as if we're doing it brand new so um yeah we're gonna pull it out of the box we're gonna we're going to hook it up and we're going to go through the whole uh, process of um, how do you get started with this thing. So here we go. All right, guys, at this point, <laughs> I'm a little disappointed in myself. I ordered something from Amazon. <laughs> OK, well, uh, this is what happened. Here it is. Uh, look at this box. Uh, this is how it came out of the bag. Um, anyway, let's let's see if this thing still works. Uh, all right, here we go. Well, we're gonna see what's in there. Uh, yeah, we'll see what's in there. Uh, looks like it's still. Uh, looks like it's still. You know, lens cover and everything is still on there. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Um, this is, uh, is, uh, let's see, looks like everything is intact, so, very cool, got the connectors, got a spy on there, USB, nice button at the top, it's got a couple of LEDs probably for exposure for the camera. And then it's got this uh, looks like an RGB LED on there. So cool. Let's see what else is in here. Um, so I typically don't do unboxings, but uh, I figured this was uh, and messed around with this in a while, so we could check this out together. So we've got a Pretty long uh, USB cable there. I'm assuming this cable is for your connections down here. It's keyed. It's keyed at least. So you can only get it in there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the keying works. So let's turn that around. Uh, very nice, very nice. Uh, we don't know. We're gonna use that yet, so we'll get that one back out of there. 
Um, all right, cable, and we've got various mounting hardware. Very cool. All right, so put this aside. And so now, uh, I don't know, there's no uh, directions or anything in the box. Um, so, yeah. Oh, it says go here. Ah, the directions are on the... So, at this point, we're going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and go there. And I'm going to do this with uh, minimal cuts, and so it'll be more or less like <laughs> real time, so you guys can see how long it takes to to get this going. So pixcam.com. So we'll go ahead and go there. Uh, and start. All right, let's see what's there. Okay, here we go. Uh, ooh, so we're running Windows 11 here, uh, and we've got Windows 7, 8, or 10. All right, <laughs> we'll try that one. <laughs> uh, there we go, we'll try that one. Um, so... Uh, okay, I think I missed something here. So, the next quick start guide, uh, teach, um, Arduino, -da 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 -da. going back to the start page, um, an object, where is my, where's my download? Two hours later, troubleshooting, digging deeper. I do not see it. All right, so much for a quick, for the quick starts. Lego Mindstorms. Uh, if you're if you're getting started with Pixie 2, choose your platform below. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh my gosh, I completely missed this. Look at this. Here we are. Boom. Let's try that. Okay. So, again, we're confronted with, uh, with no Windows 11. So, um, here we go. Grab this one. A what just happened to me? It just went back around. Okay. Uh, configuration utility. These downloads will not work with the original Pixie. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, installation docs. Windows version. Here we go. Again, I missed it again. All right, so we're gonna head, go ahead and install that. We have Arduino libraries available as well. Wow. All right, and we're going to go ahead and say yes there, and it's going to. We're going to pre-install device drivers. Okay, device drivers are good. So we do uh, Charmed Labs, sure. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Well, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, now, all right, so we've got this little window here. No Pixie devices have been detected yet, so we haven't plugged it in yet. So let's go to the, to this guy here. And so, 
did all that. Okay, so let's plug it in. Let's plug it in. Let's see what happens. See what happens. There we go. There we go. Let's use the the supplied cable so that we you know introduce any random weirdness. Let's move all of the rest of this out of here. Even the bag, we'll get rid of the bag as well. So let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we just happen to have the USB hub right here. And we're going to So we got a little flash there for a second. Uh, let's bring back our window. Okay. Color. Color connected components, it says. Uh, look at that. Okay, cool. So let's do this. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Good deal. So now we're going down, installing device driver. It is installed. So now. All of you know the lens cap is still on, so let's remove the lens cap. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, all right, so not the highest resolution, but I'm guessing for what you're wanting to do, we're not going to need the highest resolution on here. Um, so we're just going to stand it up here. Um, we'll use... Uh, we'll use... Um, Use this white to color. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll just uh, just have a hangout here, like so. Or you know what? I'm gonna get the hands. I'm gonna get the helping hands on. These are always good. For holding your camera. Okay, here we go. Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, so, that's, uh, yeah, quite, f quite fuzzy. As a fuzzier than I remember, maybe. Uh, but there it is. Uh, let me check. Uh, okay, so, now, what are we going to do with this? Um, let's check out some of the installing device driver is installed. We see the video there. Okay. Uh, let's go back one here. And uh, yep, that's it's the same thing. So as a friend of mine used to say, let's push some buttons. All right, so we are parameters, experts, signatures, camera. Uh, very cool. So we have auto exposure correction. Uh, ooh, look at that. Auto white balance. Already the image looks uh, two tons better. Uh, very nice. So we're going to leave it at that. Right now we're not using the data out. These are... Uh, you are look at that Lego I squared C very nice analog digital analog or digital X analog or digital Y so I'm guessing those are for servos that um, you can use so signature label one and uh, you know what let's try let's try Uh, color connected components, line tracking, pan tilt. So, set signature one. Let's try that. And so, oh man, I think I froze that. Oh yeah, I see what I see how that works. All right, so <laughs> I've pre-selected a target here for us to use, uh, and this is just a um, this is just some. Uh, practice landing gear from some of you if you 
if you have model helicopters, you'll recognize this. Um, but it's just a ping pong ball on a um, on a short piece of um, carbon fiber rod. And this came from a helicopter that um, a good friend and mentor of mine, Bob, uh, gave me a few helicopters to work with. And this is uh, practice landing gear. But anyway, that's not neither here nor there. This gives us an orange that is not in my background that we can use as a target. So let's go ahead and try that again. Action set signature one. And there's, there is the landing gear. Let me see if I can get this in the right spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and I'm going to there you go. So let's run that. So run stop. So S1. So let's see what happens. Oh, wait a minute. Here's another one. Toggle lamp. Okay, so we've got the LEDs on. Is that better or worse? I don't know. LEDs are off. That's kind of worse because I already have the overhead light on. So, color connected components. S1. Let's try that training again since so the nature one. Twelve hours later. Oh wait. <laughs> okay. No, it hasn't been that long. I'm sorry. Okay, so um I think I got this figured out. So we're gonna clear signatures. Uh we're going to um grab signature one. So we're gonna set signature one. So the thing that I did that was incorrect on that first one first run is that I made a window around this around the whole thing which picked up part of the background so <laughs> if you could see s equals one had this whole window um, selected so we're gonna select just this fraction of the and now the image is frozen so I don't actually really have to keep this in the frame to do this but I'm gonna select that section that has the color and uh, now signature one, and, and we'll, we'll go in here and label signature one. Uh, signature one label ping pong. Ball. We'll label it that so we remember. Um, and apply. And now we'll move this over so that we can see the image. And oh, there we go uh is easy as that and so it's actually following uh, because this is a sphere right the top of the sphere is lit uh but the bottom is uh is being uh is the same color and so uh and you can see on the camera this is cool so it had actually has the color uh of the ping pong ball displayed in that RGB LED. Pretty wild. Okay. So, so that's cool. So what we're going to do at this point, um, wow. Yeah. I really got that off, of, off of axis there. Um, okay. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to try the connected colors. Um, all right. So let's close that for a second and uh cc you so you should have a uh signatures that are let's clear all signatures uh 
and put this guy back in the frame. Uh, right here. And, uh, all right, so now we're going to be going to select connected colors and that's going to pick up. What does it do? Huh? Can't get that to work. Oh, I'm going to do this. Okay. So this is a gradient. <laughs> Let's try it on something that actually has two colors on it. And I just happen to have something. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 All right, so we're gonna do it with this pen here. Um, let's try that again. Clear all signatures, and you're gonna see something really cool with this. If I can do get this just right, uh, eek. Um, I don't think I got the frame in there well enough so let's try that again I'm going to try to pick up this black and this orange so let's see if I can do that clear all signatures connected colors and then we'll just try to pick up this black and this red right here um, so let's see Ah, oh, man. All right. So that was not working too well. Let's try something. Let's see if I can find something with two distinct colors on it. Something easier to... What about this SD card? And we'll toggle the lights on. So we'll see. Here. Toggle lamp. All right, that's a little brighter. And let's see if we can do it with this guy. Uh, clear. Connected. And I'm going to grab this. And that's where the video would have ended if I had given up. All right, so I just had to... Uh, <laughs> I just had to append this because... Listen, uh, complete operator error here. So, uh, you're going to set color connected. That's in, uh, color number one. And signature two. Select color number two. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> so, hey, hey, uh, sometimes, it, sometimes it takes a minute. But you can see there. Um, that even when you rotate it, uh, if you have those two colors that show up together, and I have the lighting all messed up now again, um, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There's the object. Um, yeah. So I and you can you can mix and match those, but again, we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be covering this in we'll cover this in another video. So again. <laughs> Appreciate the time you spend with me. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you in the next video.